Hello, so today we'll be looking at the uh, HoneyNet project and uh, HoneyNet.org is the website, but um, the HoneyPot that we'll be installing is called ConPot. And this is an ICS slash SCADA HoneyPot. And ConPot is, <coughs> ConPot is a low interactive uh, server-side industrial control system HoneyPot designed to be easy to deploy modify and extend by providing the range of a common industrial control protocols. We created the basics to build your own system capable of to emulate complex infrastructures to convince an adversary that you just found a huge industrial complex. Okay, so the way you install it is by using Docker. And this is the quick install uh, installation using Docker, Docker guide. So you first run Docker pull honeynet slash compot. And I was trying that, but my Docker was not running at the time. So this is running it one more time. And then later I will need to do Docker around this whole thing and run it with bin sh. So I'll speed up the process of this video. It looks like it's finished downloading and installing. We check on our Docker hub, Docker desktop actually. Um, I don't have anything in containers, but if I check at home, what about the images? Okay, I don't think I have anything. I need it. Okay, it's right here. So we're gonna try and see if it can log anything from. Uh, oh, this is already stopped. I have to start it now. And unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to. Um. See anything happen. Immediately, but we will see something, logging in Honey to bot. But not uh, exactly from HoneyNet because uh, we're technically connected right now directly to the internet. Uh, but I think if HoneyNet, it's still okay, zero records thing. Yeah, this goes up to about uh, uh, close to uh, 1300 sockets. So once that's loaded, I'll start Honey uh, HoneyNet compact. I'll press run and then see what goes. This is a little different from the doing it this way because you would just do run and then finally doing that. But uh, I want to first try out this. Okay, see, so it's if you can hear from the honey bot, it is logging now. Okay, I, I want to first try it using do Docker desktop, seeing if. It will run. Okay. And I guess we'll just leave everything to default right now. Okay, I'll name, I'll name this just con bot. Con bot, right? And then press run. I'll try this one more time. Okay, it's running right now. And if we check out in our terminal, I'll try it this way with Docker first. I mean, Docker desktop, and then later I'll try the commands used in uh, the user guide. Oh, okay, I think I'm in, so, yeah, huh? we're in Honeybot Manufacturer, 
let's see what is manufactured a file no files not found okay so i guess we can Any oh. permission to add who am I? Content. Okay. Maybe I'll just do this. Okay. I'll just exit from here because I want to follow the guide now. And compel. Oh, it's running twice actually. Okay. What I'll do is stop for both of these and just use the user guide. Okay, so if we use the, go back to the user guide, it says to run this. So in our terminal, we'll copy paste the command on here. I did not copy that right. So I'll try to copy it again. Okay, so the, so if you press enter, I think it will, it, this is basically the same thing as Docker then. Okay, those two have ended. Yeah, this should be the same thing. And then later we'll try combat to have template default. Okay. And we should get an output that, that's similar to this. But um Doesn't look like I have anything right now. Oh, okay. Let's do a quick one. Okay, so we'll just copy paste that that command. Compound it. Compound not found. Navigate to thing to confirm the setup. Let me try where it is. On point. Where is not found? Okay. Okay, so that didn't work either. Um, I'll try to see if I can fix this. Okay, now I think I have it under control because it says it's under construction. So it does look like um, uh, it, basically the URL was actually localhost and 8080 since uh, we are running on 8 port 8080. Um, let's give it a moment. Okay, yeah, it says port 8080 is here. Uh, and um, Honeybot is also logging uh, under construction. Yeah, I think I think it's working now. Yeah, one two one two seven the zero the zero the one. Yeah, this takes some time to uh, getting used to installing and configuring correctly. See, it says local port eighty eighty. Okay, we got it. So. This is basically what the outside would want to, like, for example, if an attacker was trying to um, scan an IP address with this range and also with the port number, they, this is this is what they would see on their end under construction and site is trying to reach you or whatever. But, um, you know, probably in another way I would want to do it is trying to um uh maybe go buster and trying to um like directory bus directory subdirectly searching so i can f figure out if, if there's like index.php or something so let me try uh, i don't think there is but yeah page oh okay so it is running on php back to try others so it's just locking in the background honeybot is locking it's strange that the remote ip is, uh, is not showing correctly i guess it's intended 
it's supposed to be that. But yeah, it's working, so that's good news.